Ryan and Liam Reardon uh, won its maiden last start at Cranbourne. Was a dominant win there after racing up on the speed. Was a big gap back to second. I think she can run well from a low gate. The 11 is Madison Kate. Philip Stokes having a good yard, a day here today with a double already. Lachlan Neindorf's been aboard both of his winners here this afternoon. Uh, this filly at her most recent start, unplaced behind Just a Boom, beaten 2.8, when a $19 chance. So she's going to go around at decent odds here. Yet another Victorian, the 12 Spangled Sipper for Andrew Bobbin. Gets a nose roll on today for the first time. Look, her only win today to Maiden here in South Australia, down in the southeast at Narracourt. Thought she might find this a bit tough. Uh, number 14, Divine Fire. I thought this was the best roughy in the race. Look, it was disappointing last start at Strathalbyn. And uh, look, first up at Morfordville wasn't that bad on the 24th of Feb. Uh, was a winner before going for a break here at Morfordville over the mile. I think it's one that's way over the odds. And then 15, Seeking Stardom. It's a maiden and it's going to find it tough here today. I've gone with six quicks to the favourite from the Moody Coleman Yard. Defeat 10, Zasu. So I'm sticking with the Victorians here. Then three, Just a Boom. And four, the Autumn Bell. I've gone 6, 10, 3 and 4. Quickster at $2.40 will run the favourite with Sportsbet. Of the others, I did think Sentimental Flame, best of the locals, horse 5 and maybe a mad roughy Divine Fire. Let's join Brett to see it, how, how it unfolds. The Claire Lindop stakes. 100 metres. Gates are now full, ready for the Claire Lindop. Stand by, gates open and they're racing. The Autumn Bell jumped beautifully off the inside and Quickster alongside also jumped nice. Zas Zoo has tremendous gate speed and fires to the lead. The well spec late Diamond's Choice rolls to second. Zas Zoo sets up camp on the lead. Diamond's Choice second. Third position is the Autumn Bell. Quickster is fourth. And then Divine Fire fifth, three deep. Followed then by Madison Kate as they sweep to the side. Next is Angelic Appeal. Seeking stardom is wide. Two lengths further back is just a boom on the outside of Sentimental Flame and between the pair is Spangled Sipper. 900 metres to run. Zas Zoo getting comfortable second. Sectionals leads by three quarters to Diamond's Choice. Third position is the Autumn Bell with Quickster running fourth. A length away to Divine Fire in company with Angelic Bell, Madison Kate, Seeking Stardom, Just a Boom and then Sentimental Flame. Last of all is Spangled Sipper. They speed things up in the Claire Lindop Stakes and Zas Zoo opened up a margin. Now move three, four lengths in front as they approach the bend. From Diamond's Choice, Quickster. The Autumn Bell, they're giving chase. Then Madison Kate, Angelic Appeal and as they turn in, the next one, Just a Boom. Zas Zoo showing them a clean pair. Still a couple clear. Quickster's now emerging as the danger with on the inside, the Autumn Bell. Quickster race to the lead now. The Autumn Bell's chugging through on the rail. It's Quickster in front of the Autumn Bell. Zas Zoo, Madison Kate late, but it's Quickster in front for the Claire Lindop and Quickster by a length and three quarters to the Autumn Bell and Madison Kate. Then just a boom, sentimental flame, seeking stardom, Diamond's Choice. Next one in was Zas Zoo, who ran a cheeky race tired at the 100, followed by Spangled Sipper, then Angelic Appeal. Next one across the line was Divine Fire, and it was probably the last one home. Two great opportunities presented to Will Price today from the Peter Moody, Catherine Coleman yard. He's given them both beautiful runs. Nunthorpe in the Matrice, who was disappointing. Quickster hasn't let him down, and she's been able to score the favourite from the Autumn Bell. Another very good run. Madison Kate, the Stokes yard, having a big day, runs third. Just a boom fourth. So it's a clean sweep.